fortunate. Here, uh, the wonderful, amazing, beautiful Gretchen Rossi. That I, that means I've made it, Mom. I've made it, Mom. 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 I'm, you've made it. Mom. Look, look at who I hang out with. Replacement has just arrived, and I have so much I have to talk to you guys about. <laughs> okay, so just to let you guys know what happened, I was at the Grove with Cannon, was trying to set up this cool shot on the escalator, and uh, my phone dropped five stories down. Here is the final piece of footage that I shot as we were going up the escalators. This part got loose, the phone completely took the weight of this and fell five stories down and I looked down watching it fall. I run down, oh my god, it survived the whole fall. All the way through the gap. It still works? Yeah, <laughs> it made it. I gotta hand it to Galaxy, <laughs> the last footage. Cannon, got it. where'd you get that at? Right there. <laughs> Oh my god. I got a really tall guy to help me. I had to get a tall person to get my phone facing straight up like this on. And I'm looking down at it and I'm like, oh my god, the screen is fine. And then after, I, I, my arms weren't long enough to reach down and get it. I had to get somebody that was taller than me. He reached down and grabbed it. I was like, okay, small little crack, tiny. Like, oh, that's not bad at all. And then I flipped the phone around and this is the chaos. Oh my god. It's not even just a crack, it's like a two inch gash in this thing. I got referred by one of my clients, uh, Mikey Stone. He referred me a designer uh, named Pedram Pasha Tahare. Hey, Peter around the New York Fashion Times, and I have. Pedram with Pedram Couture. Tell us about the show. It was fabulous, more than I could expect. Uh, I had to keep myself from crying, honestly. This is too much. Pedram has the most immaculate, gorgeous dresses you've ever seen. He's like the up and coming super designer. Pedram was having spring summer 2015 runway show at LA Fashion Week. He wanted someone to film the runway show. I'd never shot a runway show before in my life. So I was like, yeah, sure, we can do it. I think I had done Levi's and a music video. That's all that was on my reel. I'd seen a couple runway shows before. I'd seen a lot in person and I'd seen a lot, you know, online. Like, okay, well, you get the shots of the shoes and then and up and then you got the girl then you get the next girl coming and that's that's the show nothing to it again researching online and watching every single fashion show and I could not believe how shitty all of them were You're there, you know what I mean? It's kind of like baseball or soccer, just kind of boring on TV, but when you're there, it's, it's popping, it's exciting, that you can feel the energy, but just watching a YouTube video on a show, it's just kind of boring. So basically, I pitched him the idea, why don't we shoot the perspective of the designer walking around backstage, intercut with the show? So we agreed on a number. I had uh, AP doing stills, Fox was gonna do the main camera, and I was gonna do second camera. We were shooting with uh, a Panasonic GH3, uh, the Canon 60D. We get up to get Fox's place, which is in the main media booth at the front of the stage. Now, let me show you an example of what that actually looks like and how much space one has. It's like BET, Inside Edition, MTV, Associated Press, Ellen. Look how narrow. This is all the space that they get. Again, it's just little steps 
and then you have this much space to work with. So tripods, anything, anything you set up, it's staying. You're not changing, you're not doing anything. So I have two spots reserved, one for AP, one for Fox, which initially I thought they were gonna get be able to sit next to each other. That wasn't the case. So Fox actually ended up four rows behind AP, who was basically on the floor. They were gonna post there, I was gonna go to the other end of the stage, and I was gonna get the reversal from behind. So we have the two shots, the master shot in the front, and then a cool reversal. I wasn't even supposed to be in that area. After Pedram's uh, show was done, they immediately kicked me out. I could hear them talking on the, on the thing. And I think the problem is, is because I'm in every shot of everybody's runway show coverage, because I'm the only one sitting there in the corner of the stage getting these reversals, so I think that was the issue. Okay, so Pedram's show finishes. I'm like, whoo, done. Now all we need to do is shoot runway, uh, red carpet stuff. So I run out the backside. As I'm running around, from a distance, I see Fox shaking his head, okay? Shaking his head. So I'm just like, oh my God, why is Fox shaking his head right now? So I walk up and I'm like, hey, we good? Everything good? Fox goes, we had some difficulties. So my heart drops and I go, well, what kind of difficulties? And he goes, well, my battery ran out. And I was like, okay. And I knew that, you know, I had given him two spares, a couple memory cards. So we should have been good. And I told him to have a full battery once we started shooting the show. Fox had been shooting the two shows before that one started and then ran out of battery. So I was like, okay, well, how much of the show, like what, what gap did you miss? He goes, all of it. <laughs> all of it. All. And I was like, wait a second. All of it? And he's like, yeah, he goes, the battery ran out right as the lights went down. So AP had all the spare batteries and memory cards in his backpack. Everyone was sardined in and the lights were down. So everyone already had their cameras set up. So Fox couldn't get a hold of AP or even get down to him because he was blocked in every section. He would have had to cross a camera. So I go, well, Fox, what did you do? And he's like, well, I shot it all on my phone. <laughs> And I'm like, no, you did not. You did not shoot the master shots of the fashion show on your phone. It drops, and I'm like, let me see the footage. So Fox pulls out his Galaxy. I'm looking at the footage, and I'm like, bro, it looks like you shot it on a phone. <laughs> and so now we have to do two hours of red carpet after this, after finding this out and going in my mind and I'm like, oh, we signed contracts and we failed, we failed, man. I'm like, I don't know what we're gonna do. So I, I had to sit there and suffer for through two hours of shooting red carpet footage going, this is just, it's useless right now. It's all <laughs> gone down. <here. laughs> we don't say anything to the designer. Three o'clock in the morning, I get a text from Fox. He had been up for the last seven hours throwing his phone footage into After Effects, okay? So granted, Fox sat there from the beginning of the show to the end like this with his camera perfectly still. <laughs> Anybody else would have been like, fuck it, I'm, yeah, what am, what am I fucking to shoot on my phone? You know what I mean? But Fox, the genius that he is, this is all I got, I gotta, and he sat there amongst all the media with their huge thousand dollar cameras. You have Fox stand, <laughs> sitting in the middle in the prime spot. Fox sends me 10 seconds of the most amazing looking footage. Oh my God, man, this, this might actually work. So what we had to do is match all the GH4 4K footage, the Canon 60D footage. We had to match that to the Galaxy footage. We pulled it off. We put together what I feel like is an amazing runway show. The client to this day has no idea. Yeah, I'm sure he's gonna see it. Pedram, I'm so sorry. There was nothing scarier than dropboxing that footage to the designer and him going, this looks like it was shot on a phone, okay? The designer loved 
the video and and we ended up doing three follow-up videos for him afterwards from that point on I knew that my next phone was gonna be a galaxy hey, drum again thank you again for hiring us for the other three projects I swear to God there was no phone footage so anyways guys thank you so much for watching appreciate you guys sticking around this long again this has been a really hard tough process trying to shoot all this stuff and and make sure I have decent content to watch it's just uh, it's not to me my life really isn't that exciting I have the help of the laugh tracks to make it funnier than it actually is uh, I still have fun with it because I can just be like boom or bam or boom, 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 bam and it, it, everything kind of seems a little bit funnier than it is that is the story of how I shot a runway show on a Galaxy S4. We'll see you on the next episode. We had an amazing, wonderful show. If you weren't here, you missed out. It's coming, the collection is coming to a city near you, a rack near you. You probably won't be able to afford it. You won't be able to afford it, but you can look at it.